Hey guys, what's up? So, I am really sorry that I haven't been posting many videos lately. I have been through a lot, um, just getting my life back together, sorting things out at school, doing schoolwork and all that, so I have finally found time to film a video. And I'm definitely going to be doing more of these because I really love doing this and I'm going to get time, like, I will find time in my schedule, because I have this whole busy schedule now, I'm going to be a senior next year, I've done a lot of things, like, I had to sign up for classes, and do all that stuff, so, sorry about the wait, this is going to be going on my channel, where I post every Saturday, Tiffany's Life, and it's really about just vlogs and stuff, and challenges, I haven't done many of those, but gonna start doing more videos so yeah on to the video so just wanted to let you guys know let you in on what's been going on I might be doing a whole video on that so let me know if you guys want to know what's been going on I will definitely let you know so comment down below if you want to know what's been going on in better detail so yeah in today's video this week's video I'm gonna be telling you guys a urban legend now I know some people don't believe in urban legends, maybe you do, whoever's watching this right now, maybe you're saying, oh, Tiffany, I do not even care about urban legends, why are you talking about urban, urban legends? Well, to answer your question, maybe you're not even asking that, but to tell you guys, I believe in urban legends, and I believe that thing, these things actually happen, maybe not part of other, maybe... Part and I'm not making sense, but usually these things do happen. Like these things are true. These people wouldn't just. I mean, usually they would, but I truly believe that this story is true. Like all urban legends, maybe there's a couple that I don't actually believe, but I never read this story that I'm about to tell you about. I wrote, written a bunch of notes on it. Just can't really see the words, but I wrote a bunch of notes on it and stuff, and I'm going to let you guys know what this urban legend is, is about, what it's called, and after I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about it, if I believe it, if I don't, so yeah. Today's, because I'm going to do a lot of urban legends, scary stories about Ouija board and stuff on this channel, mostly, just not on my gaming channel that I haven't posted in like three or four months, or my main channel, so yeah, let's get on with the video now, Tiffany, so yeah, this video, this video is going to be about a urban legend called The Watchful Paintings, now basically, alright, so I have this whole one and basically two pages of notes in the story, so yeah, I'm going to let you, I'm going to read my notes over, maybe skim through it, and just try to be as quick as possible, because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, Tiffany, this is such a long video. So let me get into it. The Watchful Paintings, an urban, le an, an urban legend that is popular for a lot of people. They, so yeah, little background story on this. This is about a museum with, like, paintings and sculptures and really beautiful Place it like re really beautiful paintings and sculptures and everything. These artists are amazing. I actually look I, as I was reading this story. I looked. I was looked at one of the paintings and this was the painting of the Watchful painting. And I'm like, you know, but yeah. So yeah, I have. I did read sort of the story, but I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it. I didn't read like every single thing. I just skimmed through it. So yeah, let's get into it. All right. So. The Watchful Paintings. About 15 years ago, I was... Yeah, I'm just reading what it said. Okay, The Watchful Paintings. About 15 years ago, I was attending university outside of London. Uh, the school was really, really famous for its art gallery. Actually, sorry, it wasn't a museum. It was an art gallery in this university. That was really what it was known for. Um that draws visitors from all over England. That art gallery makes all visitors from all over England go there just to see the artwork 
and I think a few sculptures, not sure. I lied on that first part. I underest I thought it was a museum, but it was really our gallery in a university that this person was going to. Alright. <clears throat> that this person was attending at the time. And that draws visitors from all over England. This guy, or girl, I'm not going to say if it's a guy or a girl, this guy or girl noticed a painting on their right that has been covered, like, by, like, a British flag, and they weren't really sure why it was being covered by this British flag, but it, but he, he or she wanted to know more, so... He asked, so he asked some three-year students that have been there for three years already if they noticed it, and they told the person that was asking them this, that, this story. Now, this is get, where it gets a little weird, so I'm just going to throw a warning that this might be a little awkward or weird or a little scary for people that scare easily. I know I scare easily a lot. Um, yeah. So, this is a story. The university was giving exams in this one specific hall because it was the biggest in the whole building, the whole university. This was the biggest room, so they, so they put, so they um ran all their. Sorry for bugging my eyes out. Sometimes I do that. So they ran all their final exams. You know, final exams in that specific hall because it was the biggest in the whole building in the university. And this boy that was doing, that was ha working on his exams, actually he couldn't because he was so focused on this painting that he was staring at right like across from him and he could not focus on his work. He could not do anything but stare at that painting. So while like, he couldn't focus on anything else. Just that specific painting was all he could stare at. He, could, he couldn't even, like, go like this without looking at it. So that was all he could focus on. As I'm continuing on, as the other students were working, they weren't even looking at the painting. They were just working, writing down, doing their final exams at the university in London, just outside of London. Um, this boy that couldn't focus on anything else. I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, took two, Okay, so he took two of his sharpened pencils from his desk, or wherever he was in the room that he was taking the final exam. He must have been, yeah. So he took two of his sharpened pencils and put them up his nose, in his nose, and slammed his head into the desk. When I read that, it was, oh, I'm just going to tell my feelings, but after, after I will. Um, slammed his head into the desk. The pencils penetrated right into his brain, which killed him instantly. Killed him right there. Couldn't help him, if he, even if you wanted to. You didn't even have a second to help him because he was killed instantly because of that. Ever since that happened, those years ago, they always cover that specific painting up with that flag during final exams. Whenever a student is in there doing final exams, a bunch of students doing final exams in that specific hall, uh, that's what happens. They cover it up so kids won't be like looking at it, looking at it, and that might happen again. So, so this boy or girl, this guy or girl, that is telling, that was telling this story, they wanted to know about it, because they noticed that it was covered up, and, um, they went over to it, and, like, took off the sheet that was covered, and I don't think anyone was else was in the room, but did that, and saw this. It's a British nobleman from the 19th century, it's the kind of painting that stares right back at you. Like, if you look at it, it stares right 
at you. You know like those paintings where you think they're looking at you? This one really was looking at you. And it's like it follows you and you kind of go like this. It's right there. If you go like this, it's right there. Uh, it's just really creepy. He, the last thing that he said, he or she said, sorry, I keep saying he, but the last thing he or she said was that it's the kind of painting that would stare right back at, right back at you and follow you wherever you go. If you're right there and you're staring right at it just like that and then you like kind of move around up and down, don't matter, it will still stare right at you. And that's the end of the video, of uh, the story. So now I'm going to get to my thoughts on it. <laughs> now, when I read that part about when the boy took the two sharpened pencils and put them, up, put them up his nose, slammed his head into the desk, and it killed him instantly when the pencils went up all the way into his brain, and it killed him instantly, uh, that was really... That was just odd for me, a little odd, and let me explain why. It's just that, like, that specific painting, if he, he, there was probably other paintings around the room, but he just could not, I've said this a million times, sorry, but he just could not stop staring at that specific painting, and there was other paintings that he could have just went like this and, like, looked around, looked around, but no. It was that painting, and they say that that's why that's why he did that, slammed his head into the desk, and died instantly from the pencils, sharpened pencils, getting penetrated into the skin, into the brain. Sorry, not skin, brain. And that was just really odd for me, and kind of awkward, and a little, and a little freaky, a little eerie. To, to read that and to hear me read that from this notebook that I wrote the notes on, from this story that I wrote. It's just really weird. And the whole overall urban legend, I totally believe. I believe this happened. Like, I mean, I'm not s saying, oh yeah, it's true, it's true. You guys have to believe, you have to. I'm not saying that. I know you guys, I know a few of you are probably going to be like, well, I don't believe it, Tiffany. Is that alright with you? I'm like, I mean, of course it is. Like, I'm not saying you guys have to believe this. I'm just letting you know that I believe in it. Uh, I believe in most urban legends, but there's probably going to be one or two where I don't believe. But, yeah, um, that's my overall thoughts on the whole urban legend story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love doing these videos, so if you guys enjoy them, let me know in the comments below also. And, yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you guys next Saturday. I'm gonna see you guys next Saturday. I'm gonna be pushing myself to do that. I'm gonna be making time to do these videos. So, yeah, I love you guys. I will see you next Saturday, and I'm gonna be posting a gaming video today on my gaming channel because I haven't posted in that on that channel in a while so longer than I haven't posted on here so yeah I love you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below if you want more videos like these I really 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 love doing these and I might do a few on like serial killers and stuff so let me know on that as well if you like to see paranormal videos I really want to do in the future like go to like an abandoned like some sort of abandoned haunted house or something but yeah let me know what you think and i will see you next saturday bye guys